remember is me putting the car in drive and pressing the gas pedal. I got right out of there. I didn't listen to a thing he said. Hey, and, and, and he started and he started cracking up. He was like, Daddy, you just gonna hit the rug. He was like everybody else, guys. You just gonna hit him and get out of there. Like he tripping out and I'm tripping out. I'm like, hey man, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what happened, man. I, 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 just, I don't know what I don't know what to say. But Pete does that incident reminds me because when I pulled off, I pulled off, you know, I didn't look back. I didn't care what my dad was talking about. I just moved on. It reminds me like when we go through certain situations in life, sometimes God puts us in situations, but you just have to move on from certain people, a certain environment. Sometimes you just gotta go and not look back on certain things. What up, what up? Welcome to another Take Off Tuesday, baby. Come on, you gotta say it with me. It's been way too long. If you didn't start Monday off the way you wanted to, Today is the day to start your week off with a bang. Are you listening? Take off Tuesday, baby. We back. We back. I feel it. I feel the energy. I feel the energy. We back. A lot of people been wondering why I've been gone for so long, and we're going to answer that right now. The message, we, we talking about sacrificing today. I've talked about that a lot on the channel, but we talk, we, we, we got to talk about it again because sacrifices and making sacrifices to achieve your goals, to get closer to that goal, to get closer to that dream, it is so important to make sacrifices. So a lot of people, and trust me, I always ask you, are you listening? I always ask you that, but peep this, I listen to you guys too. You know, I know a lot of people felt that I gave up. A lot of people felt that I gave in. A lot of people felt that I threw in a towel when it came to this channel, when it came to me speaking, when it came to my speaking career. I've been listening, ooh, I've been listening. And as much as I wanted to clap back at some people, as much as I wanted to say something, I knew I had to keep it in because I knew I didn't give up on my dream. I just knew I had to make some sacrifices. So what a lot of people didn't understand is years ago when I first started to channel, I was a college student and I was living with my parents, right? I was living with my parents and guess what? I had no bills. I had no bills. Like, man, I wish I could go back to them days. <laughs> Are you listening? I had no bills to pay. I was, you know, I had a little job. Uh, I forgot the job was maybe paying between 10 and 12 an hour. I don't know. I forgot the exact amount, but it was in that range. But, you know, I had no bills to pay. I was living with my parents, I was a college student, and you know, life was all I had. I, I had a whole bunch of time to just focus on YouTube. And then, you know, as time went, went along, I met this woman, and she, you know, we started to hit it off, and she became my girlfriend, and she eventually became my wife. And I didn't tell everybody this because a lot of people was asking me why I shut the channel down, and I gave people I gave people, a lot of people to have truth, and it's simply because I didn't want to share my business at that time, but what a lot of people don't realize is when I did marry my wife, you know, I was still, I still had a job that was paying like, maybe between, I forgot, maybe somewhere between 12, 13 an hour, and, I, and to all my men out there, I know y'all understand, like, man, I could not raise, I could not have a family and I'm only making 12, 13 an hour. I knew I had to buckle down. I knew I had to buckle down and get my family in order. I knew I had to make the necessary sacrifices for my family. And once and once I made the necessary sacrifices for my family, once I got a job to where I was able to um, pay and have some security for me and my wife, now I could chase the dream. Now I could chase the dream again, baby. And now we back. Take off Tuesday. Are you listening? Now we back because I was able to make the necessary sacrifices. I had to put the dream on the side for a little bit because the dream wasn't going nowhere. The dream is always in here. I don't care what people say about me. Trust me, a lot of people during that duration when I shut the channel down for, for a long time, I, I was hearing people. A lot of people felt that I gave up. I gave in. A lot of people felt that, oh, he married now. He sprung. He don't care about, you know what I mean? He don't care about motivating no more. He's so sprung. That wife got him all discombobulated. I hear you. As much as I wanted to clap back at people, I said, you know what? I know that's not the truth. So why am I even about to go back and forth with people? I'm going to just tell them a little something. I'm going to go about my business because I know I'm coming. Coming back. I know the dream never went nowhere. I know the dream is still in my heart. I'm never going nowhere. I was born to do this and I'm never, trust me, I best best believe, trust me, it never went anywhere. It was always here, but I had to make the necessary sacrifices. So, and once I got that in order, now I could chase my dream full throttle. Now there ain't, ain't no more stopping. A meteor could hit and if I'm alive, I'm still putting out a takeoff Tuesday. I don't care. <laughs> but guys, get the message. Get the message. This is important. We're talking about sacrifices. 
Sometimes in order to get something, you got to be willing to give up something. And I gave up my dream for, and, oh, write that down. That's a simple one, but deep one. Sometimes in order to get something, you got to give up something. And I knew I had to put the channel on the back burner so I can get my life in order. And now that my life is in order, I can chase my dreams with, with, with no distractions, just full throttle. And I'm asking you guys, I'm challenging you guys, what in your life do you need to sacrifice? What's something in your life that you need to give up in order to chase your dreams full throttle? You know, go after that goal with all your energy and all your might. There's some things in your life that you know you have to give up. There's some things that in your life that you know you have to stop doing. What are some things in your life that you know you have to you know you have to sacrifice so you can chase that dream, chase that goal? I sacri I had to sacrifice the most important thing to me for a while. And if I can do it, I know you could do it. Man, whoo! Take off Tuesday, man. We back, man. This is a short one, but I best believe we are back. If you like the video, please like the video, share the video. Um, subscribe to the channel. We posting every Tuesday from here on out. We got a nice 20 to 30 episodes. We coming hard. We coming strong. It's been a long time. And best believe, I'm not going to shortchange you. We back, baby. Take off Tuesday. Remember that word, sacrifice. There's some things in your life that you know you need to sacrifice, that you need to give up to achieve that dream. So write it down. What is something in your life that you need to sacrifice to achieve your goal, to achieve that dream? You know what it is. Stop running from it. Stop putting it on the side and sacrifice that bad boy so you can get closer to your dreams. Take off Tuesday. We out, baby.